Okay, so this is problem eight, and it's the largest product in a series. And what we have here is we have this number that consists of 1,000 digits, which is this one right here. And what it says is that the four adjacent digits, so the four by four adjacent digits, it means like taking any four of these numbers that are next to each other, and that have the greatest product are nine times nine times eight times nine and that's five thousand eight hundred and thirty two so if i try and do a find four nine nine eight nine we can see that these four numbers right here if you pick these out and multiply them together we have the largest product that we can get which is a five eight three two right there so what we have to do is basically fill out this function called the largest product in a series and it will take a number n and what we have to do is find the n adjacent digits that give us the largest product and also what is the value of this product so um, let's let's start let's start off with defining the function right here so remember like I said before it will take an n and n in this case is the number of digits so we can define it as such like this and uh, for the result I can say something like console.log result is and in terms of the result um, what we can do is we can call the function and we can do it with the first number which is 4 and we know the value is 4 and um, so the, the, the output of this function is going to be the, the whatever the product was and another thing we have to do is make sure that we copy over this um, line which is basically that thousand digit number but it's been split into a nice array like this for us if we were taking this in as a string for example we could do string split to get this array as well so now that we have everything ready, let's get started. So the first thing it talks about is that uh, it, we have to look for the greatest product or the largest product, and we have to return the value of that product. So the first thing we can do here is we can create a variable for this saying let largest uh, product, or let, we'll just leave it as largest, and we can define this to zero to start off with, and towards the end of the function, we can return the largest right here. So th during this function what we'll do is we'll find the largest product and we'll update it right there. And what we're essentially going to be doing is we're going to have a starting index and what we'll do is we'll multiply together the starting index um, plus n number of digits. So we'll, if n was 5 for example we'd do this 5 then we'd go from here and then do this 5 and so on and so on until we have we get up to all the way up here and we get up to this one right here which is the last five so we'll basically go through it like that and then multiply these numbers together like this and um, then we'll see which one's the largest product and we'll return that it that's basically it really so what we're gonna have is we're gonna have a variable called start index and start index is basically the the index of the first number of our adjacent series that we're going to multiply together. And what we want to do here is we want to say we want to start start index at zero, and we want to do it until start index is less than one thousand, which is the length of this. Take away number of digits, and the reason we're taking away number of digits is because the last index that we want to go to, if n was five, is uh, one two three four five so we want this to be the final start index because this is going to be the last product because if we go on to this one or the one after it sorry I don't know I keep scrolling back we won't have enough we won't have five numbers to multiply together and uh, what we want to do in each iteration is just we want to increase the start index by one and uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to have a variable product that keeps track of what the product is and to start off with we're going to have we're going to set this to um, thousand digits start index so for example um, if we were doing the f if this was five and we were doing the first five right here we'll set product to seven right here and then what we'll do is we'll have an iterative variable i and for i equals uh, one i is less than number of digits i plus plus and what we can do here is say product equals product multiplied by thousand digits start index 
plus one. So what's happening here is remember that we're doing it with five digits this time. So we'll start off with product being seven. Then we'll have this iterative variable that runs a number of digits times, but we, but it starts from one, so it runs one less time. And we just want to basically just do start index. Um, this should be start index plus i right here. So what will what will happen is i will then become one. So we'll do start index plus uh, one, and that's three. And so we'll multiply seven by three. Then i will become two, and we'll do start index plus two, which is one. So then we'll do seven times three, and then we'll multiply that by one. Then we'll multiply it by six, and then we'll multiply it by seven like this. So this product basically just gets multiplied across until we've multiplied all the adjacent values that we need. And the final thing we want to do is say if product is greater than largest, so if one of these products is greater than the largest one we found so far, then we just want to basically set uh, largest to equal that product right there. And that pretty much should be it actually. Um, it's relatively simple, so um, let's try running this and see what happens. So if I run it with um, 4, we can see that we do get back um, uh, 5832. And if we do it with 13, we should get back 2351462400. So let's try that. And yeah, that's exactly what we get back. So uh, we do have the function completed right here. So again, I'll explain what happens here. So we'll have a largest product that keeps track of the largest product we found so far. We set that to zero. But then we uh, go through um, the start index that goes from here to whatever 1000 minus the number of digits is. So we'll st if we were doing five, for example, we'll start off with this five, and then we'll end up finishing with um, this five right here. And then for each of those uh, iterations, what we'll do is we'll start off with this product right here, then we'll multiply that, multiply that, multiply that, multiply that, and this will run number of digits times. And if the product that we find in any of these iterations is greater than the largest one we have so far, we'll just set the largest to product. And finally, we'll just return the largest product that we found. So yeah, that should be everything right there. So um, in terms of the official problem, it wants us to find the um, 13 adjacent digits, and we just executed this function with 13. So we can just copy over this answer and submit it. And let's also submit this uh, function. So uh, this one right here. And we have to make sure that we copy over the um, array as well we're going to need that array in our function. So what I'm going to do here is just replace this like this. And let's try running it. Hopefully it should work. Yeah, and we can see that it's worked and we can go ahead and submit it. And in terms of the official problem, yeah, we do have the right answer. So we've basically completed problem eight now.